easily associate her with governance. And, and that's where you find them speaking about fight against corruption and okay. ensuring governance. Hold, hold so, that thought. Let's cross over back to the deputy president. We have a sound back now. Let's listen to what he says. Then we'll come and analyze what he's talking about in current residence where he's calling it the final call. Kept us going. At some stages, it has been a rough journey, but fulfilling all the same. Victory is beckoning. We also appreciate messages of goodwill from the Kenyan diaspora and international friends of Kenya. We urge you, wherever you are, to use your discretion to prevail against those bent on destabilizing our elections and our country. We are proud partners of Kenya Kwanzaa. We dearly hold on to our unwavering solidarity. And let me take that again. We dearly hold on to our unwavering Lord, uh, solidarity and studious commitment to the ideals we stand for. We are proud to have made this an issue-based election focused on the economy away from trivialities and personality cults that have characterized our previous elections. Kenyans and Kenya's strategic importance in the region and internationally must be safeguarded by all. This is what has brought us to this age of victory. We pray in the words of our national anthem. Let one and all arise with hearts both strong and true. Service be our earnest endeavor. And a homeland of Kenya, heritage of splendor, firm may we stand to defend. Kenyans, dear Kenyans, see you on the other side of a victorious Tuesday. God bless you, and God bless our great country, Kenya. Thank you very much. This is our final statement uh, and our final call to the people of Kenya. Um, this is going to be a historic election. In many ways, it's going to be a historic election. This is going to be an election that is going to finally confirm that it is the people who hire and fire governments. The people of Kenya will, in this election, confirm their centrality of place in the Constitution, that it is the people. It is the people. It is not the system. It is not those in power. It is not the deep state. It is not everything else that we've been told all the years. It is the people. And in this election, the people of Kenya will confirm that it is them, the people of Kenya, ordinary as they may be, simple as they may be, that will hire the next government. We have confidence, we have faith in the people of Kenya. And we are proud that finally we made this election not about leaders, not about changing the constitution, not about positions, not about sharing power, that we made this election about the people, their issues, the empowerment of the people jobs for ordinary people, businesses for ordinary people. Finally, 
we are confident we got it right that Kenya is about the 50 plus million Kenyans. It's not about two, three, five, ten people. It is about the whole lot of us. We are very proud at the verge of this election that finally we have managed to relegate ethnicity to the back burner, to relegate division to the back burner, that today we stand together as the people of Kenya, irrespective of where we come from, irrespective of the spelling of our names, the faiths we profess. Today we stand together as the people of Kenya. And we have overcome the so-called system. We have overcome the so-called deep state. And the people of Kenya today stand tall. And Tuesday is going to be defining. Tuesday is going to be a great day. Kenyans will celebrate because finally they will discover the power of their vote. Thank you very much. I want to ask my brothers and sister who is here to make a very brief uh, uh, remarks if anybody has. We are good. Uh, we are good. So let me leave it there. See you in the rally. And of course, see you on the other side. Asante Nisana. Thank you very much. Yes. Deputy President William Ruto there speaking at his current residence, what they're calling the final call, just moments before they head out to the 